The roads to the beach. Alternative energy is also being considered on New Jersey shorelines. There's a pitch to use wave power. As CBS 2's Meg Baker reports, it could be part of the state's clean energy future. The ocean is a perpetual motion machine, and some say an untapped power source. It would be a very reliable source of energy if we can do it environmentally responsibly, and it makes economic sense. Advocates say wave power is a renewable energy source that should be fully explored. You know, one meter high wave can give you enough power if, if the technology is there, can give you enough power to power a household for a year. Assemblyman Robert Karabinchak plans to introduce legislation to support wave energy. I think New Jersey is moving in the right direction with uh, clean energy. Um, and beyond our wind farms and our solar farms, there's other sources of energy. Several ocean power companies pitched their plans to the state. Philip Stratman is with Jersey based Ocean Power Technologies, which uses buoys offshore to collect energy. And as the waves pass through and past the buoy, there is a float collar. Think about it like a, like a big inflatable ring as you would have in your swimming pool that moves up and down. And as it bobs up and down of the seaway, that powers a generator. And then we have a bank of batteries in the bottom of our buoy. Eco Wave Power, a Swedish company, has used its model to connect to the grid in Gibraltar. And we basically install on existent man-made structures, such as piers, jetties. Governor Murphy has committed to achieve 100% clean energy by 2050. Wave energy could help make that a reality. In Spring Lake, New Jersey, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News.